My name is Daniel Gallardo. I'm the founder of Tenkara USA. Today I'm going to show you how to cast with Tenkara. Tenkara casting should be very intuitive. It's very much like taking a rock and throwing it. You have to cast your fly into your target. But there are going to be a few tips that I'm going to share with you that are going to make your casting much easier and much more effective at fishing. The first thing to learn with Tenkara casting is the grip on the rod. The best grip and the one that is used by most Tenkara anglers in Japan is with an index finger on the top. Another grip that you can try if this is not very comfortable is what we call a V grip. It's not a thumb on top grip, it's more like this. And you're gonna do it this way. The index finger on the top is the one that I prefer. I kind of like to think of it as pointing to where I want to cast. But also, as you see with the casting with Tenkara, you want to stop your rod at 12 o'clock on the back cast. With an index finger on the top, you automatically are forced to stop at this position. It's really hard to bend it far back. So, index finger on the top or a V-grip, and you can stop right at 12 o'clock. And you're pointing right to where you want to cast. The second thing that I want to show you with casting with Tenkara is where in the rod you should grip. You can, the rods are designed so, so you can grip them anywhere along the handle or even on the blank of the rod. The best place to hold it is right at the butt end of the rod. And I find it to be the best place because it gives you more leverage. Essentially, you're having more of the rod working for you and your casting is going to be more effortless. If the rod is feeling kind of heavy or if you wish you had a slightly shorter rod, you can hold it above, right at, right at the top of the handle. And if you really wish your rod was even shorter, hold it up on the blank, like this. I hardly, hardly ever do this. 95% of my grip is gonna be right here where my casting is gonna be very effortless and very easy. The third thing I wanna show you is how to hold your arm. Very often I see people wanting to extend their arm out like this and then they try to cast, but that's very tiring. If your arm is out and you're casting all day like this, you're going to get tired very fast. The best way to hold your Tenkara rod is with your arm close to your body but very relaxed. You don't have to pretend like you have a book underneath your arm. It's just a relaxed grip and cast like this. So hold your arm relaxed close to your body. Before you ever extend your arm, try stepping forward a little bit. Just use your feet a little bit more. The way to cast with the Tenkara rod is to go up and down. And you're gonna move your arm a little bit and break your wrist. You do not wanna use just the wrist because your wrist is gonna get very tired. And you don't wanna use just your arm because then you don't have the flex of the rod. So it's, it's best to have a combination of both using arm and wrist. That's gonna make your casting very, very effortless. And if you're using 10 feet of line or 20 feet of line, it's the same thing, arm and wrist, like that. At the end of your cast, relax your wrist a little bit. So cast and relax. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna dampen the rod very well. So it's gonna allow your rod, your line just to shoot out and it's not gonna oscillate. If you keep everything very stiff and you overpower, the line is gonna go like this. But if you just relax a little bit, there's no oscillation whatsoever on the rods. To do the Tenkara cast, you're gonna come up to 12 o'clock on the back cast and then you're gonna stop relatively high at around 9.30, 10 o'clock on the forward cast, like this. So it's a very quick casting stroke and you're shooting your fly into your target and then drifting with it. The best cast is just to focus and learn how to do the overhead cast. With the overhead cast, you can also get underneath brush. So if there's a tree with low overhanging brush on the other side, I can cast very fast on my forward cast and I can stop my rod tip a little lower and that's going to shoot the line underneath. So really focus on learning how to do the good overhead cast at different speeds and different levels of power. If you master this cast overhead at different speeds, you'll be okay. You're going to be able to cast anywhere you want to.